Okay, ladies. So here is the end of the journal as I had promised. I had used two of the olive gimp and the tan for the spine. I use this Nutrim. Um, this is just a sample that was sent to me. And um, this little eyelet, I think it was part of a curtain at one time, but it's something that I have had from my stash. And of course, you guys saw me put this, assemble this part here of the front of the album. Now, inside, again, oops, it's bigger. Again, you guys saw me assemble this part. And it just goes like that. Just got a little, there's a button to kind of hang it there. Um, the optical lens there. And of course, we have a pocket up on the top here with the tag and there's a pocket and these pockets are the new ones that are in the shop goes there and again these are a pack of 10 and uh, they're available in our little shop and then flip it over to this side we have another little um, pocket with some of the new Tim Holtz ephemeras that will be available in the store this week and we got those there and of course you guys saw me assemble all this here so over here we ended up um, attaching this little eyelet trim and you guys saw the video there's a pocket over here on the side with some of the tickets and ephemeras that will be in the shop this week there. Over here, these are the Prima um, Finnebar Collection photo booth that are in the store now. And this is like a little belly band. And they have, oops, what happened here? I tied up there. And then we did these. And there's another one over here. That's that. Okay, so then, I guess you guys did not see this one. So this part here, we did a, um, a little tab here, a little clip here, and of course there, it's all sewn down and glued. This is a tag from the Ephemera Collection, staple that in. This is a little safe, um, paper clip, not safe clip. And the uh, stitch scraps um, from the Tim Holtz collection with some of his ephemeras. And I just made a little paper clip and clipped that down there so that we can somewhat see if I can get that together. Touch it like so there. And then over here. Um, I took one of the ephemeras from the collection, and those are the Field Notes collection. Here is a ticket from the ticket collection, made a pocket, the little girl from his um, dolls, and this is from the Field Notes, and I attached this little eyelet with one of the new gimps that are in a store with this little piece there from the um, junk drawer ephemeras that will be in the shop this week then we flipped over here oh and for these little paper clips I have a video tutorial already um, on how I did these very easy to do um, you can just check that out on my YouTube channel um, this is again from the Finnebar Prima collection I took some of the trims that are um, this one's in the store I believe this back one here um, this one here and I plied it down, um, have one of those numbers, a little button, some cheesecloth, and that's that. Again, this is a video that you can check um, on how I did these little paper clips. And um, I attached it with one of the bulb pins that are in the shop. And this is the one with the pockets sewn down in the middle. And here's one of those little cards that are in the shop. 
with a ticket inserted inside with the bold pins. There's that one. And then this one has some tickets, bold pins, little the tickets from the Tim Holtz that will be in the shop this week. And that one goes like so. And this is from the uh, junk drawer Tim Holtz ephemera. So will also be listed in the store this week. Flip it over. And then what I did here, um, again, this is um, an old curtain that was coffee dyed. Attached it there. Put some of the ephemeras, the tickets. Um, so this is a little tuck spot. Tick it in. Remove it. Stapled in. This is from the junk drawer. Um, chipboard collection that will be in the shop this week. Just glued semi of it, half of it, so that I can tuck this underneath and then use that as a little tuck spot. Again, all this is from his stuff that will be in the shop. And with the bulb, cheesecloth, extra little pieces of, um, you know, junk stuff button and attach it to the corner. This has um, been around. This is, I've used, I've created flowers. I've created all kinds of things. This is about the last bit I have of this, I, I believe so. But um, attached it there. And here's that trim I was telling you about that we used here and over here as well. We have it down here as well. Right down here. Um, oh, and this, this, this is actually um, a trim that will be in the store. I just kind of cut it. Um, I cut it around, fussy cut it, so that's an a sample that I got, but it'll be in the store hopefully as soon as my laces get here. Um, shipping has been horrible. All right, so here's that trim. I think it's in the store now. I'll have to check, but I, I'm pretty sure it is. But um, that's that. I made a pocket with an eyelet trim I had. Here's some of the ephemeras, the tickets from his collection and it'll be in my shop. This is a Tim Holtz with the bowl pins. And again, this is from the junk drawer, drunk drawer, ephemeras that will also be in the store. And the trim that should be here waiting. Okay, and the bath, I didn't do too much other than I put that again, that piece of the curtain, this trim that should be in the shop and or and the pocket um, we did him with little wings and I think you guys saw that in the video previously so I think I think I think I think that was about it guys oh let me see if I can squeeze that in there okay so again this is a piece that was inspired by the shabby so soul soul yeah I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, kind of chunky, you guys know. I don't do things that are thin, hardly ever. It's so hard. As much as I want to tell myself mentally, you will do it thin. You will not over exceed it. You will do something skinny. Mm, no, no. Okay. So here's that. So that's what it looks like. I love using the gimp for the spine. I think it gave it a really unique look. Um, definitely going to reorder some of that olive one because I love it. And I think it kind of went and coordinated very well with everything else we have going on. I'll probably trim some of this stuff off, but not too much. I like, I like that free look. And I always try to save those little scraps. But that is about it on this beautiful journal. The journal itself will be also in a store this week um, as soon as everything comes in um, and I get all the pictures taken because I got to get the pictures. I just, I'm just kind of, you know, uh, slow on things lately. But I'll get it all in um, by Tuesday night, hopefully. Um, Tuesday, Monday at the latest. Tomorrow. We'll see. We'll see how fast I can move between today and tomorrow. Um, but anyway, um, these will be in listed in the, the shop. And you guys can make those purchases. I know that some of you has pre-ordered um, some of the stuff here. 
But if you have any questions, feel free to ask. And again, guys, I want to wish every single one of you guys a wonderful Mother's Day. I hope this inspired you to create one for yourselves. And I, what I love about this little fabric album is that we don't have to create it ourselves. We don't have to sew it. It's already done for us. It comes beautifully and it's got plenty of little pages. Um, the spine, everything is well constructed. And I absolutely love the way it turned out. Um, you guys know I'm not a fan of doing more than five pages. So I managed to actually do more than five page pages, believe it or not. Um, but I love the way it all turned out. It turned out really cute, and I just absolutely um, love it all. So anyway, again, happy Mother's Day to all you beautiful ladies out there. I hope that you have a wonderful day with family and friends and all your loved ones. And God bless you all. Till next time, guys. Bye-bye.